Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches, episode 74. Um, yeah! <laughs> so tonight we're reviewing Star Wars! <laughs> I liked it. I, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I had a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, for the most part, it felt authentic. Yes. And it felt fun. And it felt like a Star Wars movie. Yeah. And so I was like, okay. Yeah. Cool. I, um... And, like, and then I got excited. Like, I remember partway through the movie yeah. being like, oh, I can't wait to see the next one. Yeah, there was numerous times in this movie where I just had a shit-eating grin on my face. It's <laughs> <Just> like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we should say spoilers. 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 Yeah. Spoilers. Spoilers. From spoilers, here on out, spoilers. I guess. From here on out, just... Spoiler alert. Go see the movie and then watch this. Yeah. Well, okay, can we talk about... This is so not really a spoiler, but... Okay. Um, Oscar Isaacs was on some kind of juice cleanse before this movie. He was felt. I don't know him. You do. He's the guy... He's the guy from Ex Machina. The, the scientist. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he is felt. Yeah. Also, he seems like he changed races. <laughs> Nope. He did. From from Ex Machina? The the guy that invented the right, robot. The Not robot. No, I know. Dominic Gleason? The one who has like the dance party. Yes. Anyway. Yeah. I really liked him. Yeah. Um, spoilers. I really liked him. And then the movie decided he was unnecessary for an hour and a half. Yeah. And they want you to assume that he's dead, and I guess I did, because I was like, oh. There was like a real quick explanation for like, oh no, I was fine. Yeah. It was weird. <laughs> I woke up and it was dark. It and... seemed like they went, oh, well, we already have the main guy who's, I really should have learned all their names. They, we already have the main guy who, from Attack the Block. Right. De de Dev? Jim? Jeb? Finn. Finn. I was way off. I knew it started with an S, though. We already... Good, good. We already have um, Finn, who's Han Solo. We already have Harrison Ford, who's Han Solo. Like, like as a character. Right. And, and Oscar Isaacs was doing a lot Wait, of... Wait, you thought he was supposed to be Han Solo? He's a combination. No, he's Luke. No, she's Luke. No. Yeah. She's Luke and Han Solo combined, which is why she's not as So annoying. is he. He's like, I don't want to fight this. I just want to go do my own thing. And rah, rah, rah. Yeah, but he was also like, well, He was that's also fair. like, I'm just going to go pick up some power converter. He's also <laughs> whiny, you're right. He is pretty Luke. And he's like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, whereas she's like, oh, you got to fix this thing. And then you like, do do and I'm going to go save the day. She rocks. Yeah. Obsessed with her. So it felt like we already have too many characters. We can't deal with Oscar Isaacs right now. He'll show up later. Yep. It's fine. Yeah. I wish they had found a cleverer way to handle that instead of just, he's gone. Yeah. I think, should we just go ahead and talk about it? Spoilers? Well, spoilers. Han Solo and Leia have a son. The Darth Vader-esque character is uh, Han and Leia's son. He is, I don't know how I feel about his voice when he has the mask on. It was like a, it was like kind of a combination. It was like Bane, but over a CP radio. I'll show them the dark side. And you find out later that it's for nothing but to intimidate. Like it's literally yeah. for his character. Like Darth Vader's fucked up because he's like half right. robot. Right. This guy, it's just like a look. He's, like, doing a punk rock thing. Well, but I guess that, I mean, obviously the thing is that he's supposed to, so, he, you know, he's, like, admiring and trying to emulate his grandfather, Darth Vader. Right. Um, but, like, okay, so that's what's, I, it's actually the most interesting character in the movie for me. Even though I didn't like him because he's the bad guy, I felt like they actually gave him a lot of depth. Yes. Like, he's a spoiled brat. Yep. Who's has immense power. And that's kind of fascinating. Yeah. I, I'm excited. You know? I'm excited. I, I guess I'm off. Well, so, so he takes off his mask and we all laughed real hard. He's because got he's a, like this little Jewish boy. Well, he's got a, like a feathered hair, 
Like, he took off his helmet, he might as well have just been like, ah. Oh, Seriously? <laughs> that's better. Like, it was, it was oh, kind of <laughs> hilarious. So, wait, it was supposed to be like, oh, and it was like, huh. <laughs> it definitely wasn't, um, fear-inducing. No! But I think that's, not, maybe, like, maybe this isn't the point, but for me, I was like, that's his character. Right. He's like a spoiled brat child who is running is rampant, who's a yeah. bully, and... It's kind of, who's like putting on this fake facade to be right. cool. Right, He's like part of a cult. Like there's a lot going on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um. He's part of the Nazis. He's, he is part of the Nazi party. My goodness. I mean, you thought in the first ones it was like a little bit, but it was actually more like Revolutionary War, like England versus yeah. America. This is straight up like Nazis. They've got a red flag behind them. Dominic Gleason, I think I'm saying that wrong. Brendan Gleason's son. Is it? Who was in Ex Machina 2. Oh. As well. Whose name is something with a D Gleason. Who is he in Ex Machina? The other guy. Oh, he was. <laughs> That's why he looked familiar. Yeah. I felt like there wasn't enough um, explanation of things. There wasn't an Obi Wan character. To be, like, okay, so I know we all know Star Wars. We all know what the Force is yeah. and all these things. But I still felt like they left stuff out yeah. that I would have liked to know about the world now. Because yep. it's, it's, you know, whatever, 40 years late? I can't do math. 30 plus years since... Almost, yeah. You know, the time has passed. And you don't really get to know at all what happened in the interim. I wish that the guy, Which the kid, was out. a little bit older. Which kid? The, the Darth... The bad guy. Yeah. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle Ren. Oh, Cal, yeah, Cal, Cal Ren? I don't know, I love that ben. even, I love that even his sword was, like, dumb and pointless. Like, with, with the, the two, two, like, Meow. Like, even that was him being like, I'm cool, you guys, let me play. Like, he was like. <laughs> It's really he true, like, actually. He when like, he had his temper no. tantrums, they did yeah. like... I, I think he, he was is, the most developed character. Well, he's the only new character. Like, but also not, the most that's developed. Not a, that's not an archetype of something that already existed. Sure. But even then, like, there's just like a backstory there. Yeah, yeah. And, like, but because, I wanted even more. I mean, I guess we'll get to know more over the course of the movies. But he was like more Lord Helmet from Spaceballs <laughs> than he was Darth Vader. Like, it was a lot of like... Ah, I want my way. <laughs> I want to be. Yeah, it was. But, but, but in a in a good way. Yeah. Like in a effective way and in an interesting way. In an interesting way. I will have to say this. Major spoilers. I don't know how they're gonna redeem him because he kills Han Solo. Well, and so that's the thing. I I think they pulled the trigger on that too soon. I I, I kind of agree with you, and I also. So I agree with you on a lot of levels, mm -hmm. because I agree with you that it was too early for Han Solo to die, even though, I mean, you're always going to think I mean, was... I'm always going to think he should never die, and he should live forever, but <laughs> I think the way it was done wasn't earned. Right. I wanted to know more about the story between them and what happened in the falling out before he died. I will say this. What? Who says we can't? I mean, what, is he going to come back as, like, a force ghost? No, 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 no. Oh, they could still show more. But we can flash back. I just have this, like, dreadful feeling that Harrison Ford was like, cool, I'm in for one movie. Yeah. You guys go ahead and kill me off, because I'm out. I don't care. I also think the problem with doing trying to do any sort of flashback is that you can't make them look younger. They can Benjamin Button. I guess they can. They did it for everybody. Yeah, that's true. So, so there you go. I, or, I think that's or, where... or get the guy from fucking Age of Adeline, <laughs> who is awesome. I would be on board for that. Uh, no, hundred <laughs> percent. What? He looks so much like him. <laughs> Don't you Doesn't remember? pretend to be to be Harrison <laughs> Ford and like younger. Yes. <laughs> the in between years. Yes. <laughs> No, that would be terrible. It would be terrible. I just want him to get more work. I like that guy. Yeah, I do too. You can't just kill Han Solo and then be like, next scene. Like, I was like, no, what?
Like, I just couldn't get past it. Yeah. Like, I was like, oh. That's a really hard sticking point. Like, That's, like, a huge decision to me. Right? And... I just... I, I mean, I already said it, but, like, it should have happened in the second movie. It would have been so much better. Because then, you, like, everyone loves him. They've earned him. Maybe they, like, titillate you with, like, maybe Luke and Han are going to get... Uh, not Luke and Han. Maybe Leia and Han are going to get back together. Right. Who knows? We learn... They have, like, a... Like, a coming together where they talk about what happened with their son. Like, oh, yeah, what? And then, like, Han has to learn a lesson and, like, stand up and be the father he never was. Like, all this stuff would have been great. In the next movie. What the fuck? So. So. Talking about Adam Driver as the bad guy. Yep. You want to know who else was considered for the role? Our favorite Michael Fassbender. No. Yes! <laughs> it's weird, too, because I was like... I was gonna say, like, I could have had Michael Fassbender do it, but then I was just like, Andrew, you can't have every he character. He can't be in everything. It just turns, it just happens to be that Michael Fassbender is perfect for every role. <laughs> Although he looks nothing like no. Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher and is probably the wrong age range. I was gonna say, he's too old. But as you know well. what? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. I'm down for it. I would have been so much more into that. Uh, well, see, I don't know. That's why I didn't it, say it because I. It would have been different. It would have been very different. But uh, you know, I, I, oh, I, I, I also I, I, totally always, yeah. always. Well, maybe he can be like a different one later on. You know. He can be supreme leader. No. So Andy Serkis plays Emperor Palpatine. Sorry, what? Um, is that? Is that what that was? I mean, he plays supreme Andy leader. Andy Serkis. Um. That was that was what that was one other problem I have with this movie. There was I still think too much CG. There was a lot of practical stuff, and I really appreciated it. But anytime there was like a CG character, I was like checked out. You know, I'm fine with all the backdrops. You know, they've yep. gotten really good at that. Whenever it's a character that has to speak, yeah, I just I just don't I'm just can't just give you a puppet. I just can't get into it. And every time that it was a puppet, so they go into what is essentially the cantina. And ha all, most of them are all practical puppets, and they look fucking great. And then um, Maz yeah. shows up, and it's a CGI character. Played it's by? Played by <laughs> Lupita. Yango. <laughs> and it just wasn't great. <laughs> it was, it was, that was the most prequely thing yes. in the movie. That and the Supreme Leader looks really stupid. Really? I gotta say. And it's weird because he's still doing like a hologram, right? But that was the weird thing was that I thought for a, like a long time mm. that it was this weird like giant Abraham Lincoln statue of a person. <laughs> you look like that? <laughs> right? It was like Abraham Lincoln was like up like, in the memorial. You like will the do my bidding. Andy Serkis was sort of restrained because he literally spends the whole time just sitting in this giant chair. It was weird that they hired Andy Serkis, Andy Serkis. who's so... His, like, I mean, physicality right, is his thing. Right. That was odd. Yeah. It just, he was not, because he looks fake, I was not intimidated by him. Right. And because I have no context for him as of yet. Right. I was like, okay, well. Well, that's the thing. I mean, I think that's exciting to think about that hopefully in the next one. Right. We'll get, like, you know, more in-depth explanation of what's been going on, how we got here, yeah. whatever. Maybe? I'm just, like... I was kind of, so the credit, the cool credit, you know, the yeah. the Star Wars credits start to go up, and I thought, oh, they're going to give us, like, a recap, like, since the 30 or 40 years that have passed, the rebels have, da -da -da, and this happened, and that happened, and it was like, nope, Princess Leia gave some guys some plans, and they're going to, like, it was, like, the exact same plot as New Hope. Nothing's changed, really. I mean, everything's changed, but nothing's changed. I thought they would be more creative. At the same time, I thought, no, they'll just do the same thing. And they kind of met in the middle. Yeah. There's certainly a lot of new stuff. Yeah. But it was very much, like, reminiscent, like, oh, our lead character is from a sand planet, and she's all alone. And, oh, there's a droid with plans that everybody's trying to get, and they're trying to get away. And the main bad guy has asthma, and there's a Death Star, and, you know, it was like there was a lot. The main bad guy has Asthma? They have like fucked up voices and masks. Oh. <laughs> like they look like it was the same thing. Yeah, yeah. But I was hoping for a little less fan service and a little more creativity. Yeah. Well, I still really liked it. I, I did too. 
but I felt the same way, particularly because partway through, like two thirds maybe, I was just kind of like, I kind of would just rather go watch the original. Yeah. I, that's the problem yeah. with it being too similar, I think, is just Yeah, then... you can't help but compare them. Exactly. And therefore, you're going to compare them, and, like, you can't... I was never expecting this to be better than the original no. trilogy. Like, I, that is off the table. Right. But because it's so similar, you go, well, I liked that the first time you did it. Exactly. I want to watch a new movie. Right. I want a new movie to watch. Exactly. Today. I want a new thing to get excited about. Yeah. Not be like, yay, the old thing that I love so much, but like is not the new old thing, but it's kind of the old thing, so like, yay. So I have a question. Yeah. So Leia... Yeah. ...has elements of the Force in her. Yeah. The Force is strong in my family. My sister has it. She's just sitting on those powers. I guess. So the whole point of the movie is that Kylo Ren, got it right, Kylo Ren is trying to hunt down every last Jedi and kill them. Right. He's killed them all, except we are told Luke Skywalker. But His like, uncle. But, but like, Leia is... Also... Also has the Force. Yeah. She, all those years passed and Well, she clearly, because if she gave birth to him, then where the fuck would it come from? Yeah. She never was like, I'm gonna pursue this. Doesn't that seem weird? That does seem kind of weird. I guess you have to be like a monk, but still, that's no. Well, but do you? I don't. No. I mean, I just thought that I just I don't know why that. Well, she's the general of the resistance, but like, why can't she be the Jedi general? That is kind of weird. So, Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader mm -hmm. is supposedly like super duper midi chlorian count. That doesn't exist. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> sure. Just forget it. So I did notice. Uh-huh. No lens flares. No. Not one. No. He was very, it was very authentic and it was very true you to like. You could tell that he loves Star Wars. Yes. Which was clear. And that was lovely. Yeah. It falls somewhere Somewhere in between the original series and the prequels. More towards the original. Quality Certainly wise. in terms of feel and mood. Story, quality, and, yeah. yeah, like character development, acting, you know, just general things you need for a movie. <laughs> in the first one, you're like, everything is building towards destroying the Death Star. This one, it felt like, oh, they introduced whatever Death Star equivalent was in the last, like, 40 minutes. Like the Death Planet. It was like, oh, what? Ooh. And then it was like, oh my god, da, 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 rush, 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 oh, and they exploded it, and it's the same as the first, and it's fine. Also, can we talk about the Death Planet? The weapon? What about, I was real confused, by the way. Maybe I what, didn't get it? Well, that was, okay. So it's like legit its own planet. So but this it's, is... The, but it's a Death Star so, that's powered by the sun. So, okay. <laughs> the science doesn't make any sense. And now, like, it's sure, Star Wars, it's like Star whatever. Wars, there's sound in space, so, like, what science? But... But there's not often, like, this was really bizarre. But so... But doesn't he say, like... It takes all the sun's power until it's out or something? Until it extinguishes the sun so for like, that planet. How often can you use this thing? Also, how do you like drive a planet to the next place? Do they put like controllers? That, that's <laughs> what I wanted to know. <laughs> how are they getting this left? from sun to from you know, like from star to star? <laughs> just have like but, but, so then you're just fucked and you have to build a new planet. Maybe they picked a planet that had multiple stars. Maybe they picked a planet that had a built-in motor. I mean, I don't know. A built-in <laughs> Do they have like a tugboat? That... I'm just thinking about them driving it with like a big wheel. To, like, <laughs> we're gonna get you. And the reason that it could harness this energy was that it had an oscillator. They used to use that word a lot. We just gotta destroy that oscillator. Which was just that oscillator. Which was line. just get that the same line. super deep weird tube that's in every Star Wars movie. Yeah. It just, like... You would think after 50 years or however long it's been right. that someone would have decided to put a railing on these things. <laughs> Where is no, OSHA? There's no railing anywhere. And it was, I mean, it, I was rightfully stressed out because Han Solo gets thrown off the side of it. Yeah. I mean, he was already dead at that point, but... They could have, there's, who knows? 
You know, Luke got his hand cut off. True, they could have like had some weird... There's like future science. Yeah. I'm just saying, it was a big fat bummer. Well, it certainly was. Yeah. And it was like a big gaping hole in the fun that I was having. Well, and that was what I, okay, that was the other thing. Was that, and it's amazing, like, props to Harrison Ford. <laughs> Seriously, though, because, like, he was the most fun he character. He like, brought it. And he, he was, was like, like low energy. I mean, like, he's older yeah. and, like, whatever. He was, but he still was, like, blast. super fun. Oh, yeah. And so when he died, it was just kind of like, oh. Well, there goes a lot of the fun of this all. Yeah. Han Solo is dead now. We have to get over that. <laughs> I know. I don't want to. I don't know if I ever want to watch this movie again. That's, I was going to say, that's the thing that makes you want to ignore this movie. Yeah. And it's kind of like, well, if I like a universe yeah. in which Han Solo didn't die, maybe yeah. It sounds like we didn't like it. I liked no, it No, I liked lot. it. I had a I, lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. It's a very good Star Wars movie. I have certain problems with it. That was to be expected. Yeah. What are you going to do? Um, I'll definitely see the others. I'm really bummed out. Um, on like a deep level, I feel like an American hero has, has left the pop culture and I don't know how to feel about it. That's true. I mean, it really is like, like a, that's a huge deal. Fucking iconic. It's like they killed a part of my childhood. I mean, that's like, like, like they legit murdered a part of my childhood. I guess that's what's, what's so... And, it, and because it wasn't earned, I'm mad about it. Yes. It's not the prequels, but it's not the original. Yeah. Which is pretty much what I was expecting. Yeah. So that's, that's a win. Yeah. That's a win. It's a win. It's a win. Yay! For the most part. <laughs>